Well, I get a beer. Hi guys, and welcome back to hell. <laughs> this is not the spiritual garage. This is hell. It is so fucking hot here and humid and just nasty business. So I am not having a good time in California. It's wonderful. It's sunshiny, but it's humid as hell and it's just fucking hot. So I'm miserable. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I have an unboxing for you guys. Yes. So, um, other people I know have unboxed this particular deck. However, I'm going to unbox it because the creator is actually my friend. And I love her and I have followed her and talked to her since the first edition of this deck and um, I especially reached out to her when everything went wrong and this poor woman anything that could have gone wrong with her first deck release went wrong but you know what she stood up she stuck her chin out and she said look I'm going to make this right I'm going to fix this you all just hang with me. And she was wonderful about communication with everybody. She let everybody know every single step of the way what was happening with this particular project. She is the best creator and just the most wonderful woman I, I have the pleasure of calling friend. And folks, I am talking about Jillian C. Wild and the Naked Heart Tarot. I love this deck from the very first moment I got my original copy. I swear to you, um, I think this is my soul deck. I had such a quick and hard bond with this deck, but then things started slowly going wrong and, um, you know, other things came to light and was just one thing after another. But you know what? Bless Jillian because she kept going. She, she corralled everything. She stopped the shipments. She said, no, 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 this isn't how we're going to do it. And, you know, she took the time to fix it and make everything right and just keep everybody in the loop. And to me, this has even endeared this project even more to me than it already could have been. So, um, Jillian, I love you, girl. Thank you so much for this. Now, all right, I got the, the plastic off, so here we go. We have the box. Same box, it looks like, but this is a two-piece box, and the original was a magnetic flap flap over so I like this of course her classic on the inside I love that the naked heart holds the secrets of the soul so so right girl so so right this guidebook this guidebook is everything oh my gosh I love this guidebook I even love the smell of this guidebook smell your guidebooks people it has a wonderful scent and it's just so wonderfully well written and put together and I'm just so excited and on the inside then you have the cards and you have the lovely ribbon that's going to pull the cards out so that's awesome and then of course if I was to get a tattoo I think that would be my tattoo Simon has his from Wild Unknown this would be my tattoo if I was ever going to get one. I just absolutely adore it. Adore it. So, okay. I'm going to go back to the guidebook for a minute. I want to savor this. I want to savor this. I've been waiting so long. I'm so excited. Okay. Yes. Have faith in the universe. After all, it holds all the brightest stars. And by God, that is the truth. That is the truth. I'm so so excited. So how the Naked Heart Tarot came into being, which is an amazing story in itself that you guys, uh, that you need to read about. This was definitely a labor of love. Um, I love that working with the deck and uh, 
these pages. The contents pages are in a black, which makes them easier to find in here. So I think that's fabulous. She also has, oh yes, you can work with the back of these decks too. Crystal grids and um, just wonderful uh, stuff. I love this. I love this introduction understanding the tarot so yeah this is this is terrific so each of the uh, sections in the book I love this this is this is perfect each of the sections is broken down by a black page so it's pretty easy to follow um, you can you can find the in here you know you can almost kind of see to to find the the indexes and stuff so love that all right cards 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 okay so this is fabulous no edging this time no edging um, the edging that she had before was wonderful it was great edging however it was so thick that um, it chipped really easy and really badly so uh, i'm i'm so glad that um uh, you know jillian asked us the the tarot community um that was the other thing jillian included us in this process you know all the comments and suggestions that people gave her when they found out that she was going to redo the deck a little bit to make it better uh, and fix all the problems that there were um, she really took everyone's advice on board. And one of the things that was mentioned was no gilding, no gilding. People much preferred to, to edge their decks theirself. Um, for me, I don't really edge decks, so this will stay pristine, but okay. So of course her classic art card, and this is the back of the deck, which I just love. I just love, love, love. All right, here we go, guys. I'm so freaking excited. All oh, these cards feel so good. They feel so good, you guys. Okay, the card stock is thinner than the original, which is actually better, I think. Uh, I think this is going to have better shuffleability than the, the first one, uh, especially if you're going to riffle shuffle. Or, you know, like me, potentially corner riffle shuffle. Um, so here is the fool. The magician. These cards are wonderful. They're matte finish, but they're so smooth and silky. High Priestess. The Earth Mother. I love this Sky Father. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. The sage. I love its minimal simplicity, but it gets its meaning across. It's just it's just wonderful. And her artwork is just amazing. This is one of my favorite strength cards. I mean, when you look at that gorgeous lion and those wings, is that not the shit? And this one, oh my God, look at the turtle. Look at the detail on that turtle. It's just, I, I, I don't know that I could love a deck any more than, than I love this deck. This is just wonderful. Justice. The hanged man. I love it. The bat. Oh, this is another great one. Death. Now, some of the colorations have changed, I noticed, from uh, the original. And I think some of the pictures have also changed. Some of the cards themselves have completely changed. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, wow. These colors are so vibrant. 
I can't tell you, I think they're even more vibrant than the first edition. I really do. Oh, look at that. And that scarab. This is just breathtaking. I, I, I don't know what more to say. This, this deck, I don't think, could be any closer to, to my heart than, than it is right now. The Naked Heart card. Amazing. Okay, so now the suits. Ace of Wands. Two. Three. Oh! <laughs> Four. I love the sunflowers. Fire. That looks like a fireball. I like that. Six. Oh, yeah. Don't back me in a corner. Eight. The gazelle. Stop monkeying around. Then we have the child. And the youth. Mama. And Papa. Ah. Uh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here's the ace. Look at that octopus. Two. Two hearts. Dolphins. Dolphin fun. And they're wearing flowered crowns. I love it. Panda, panda. Wow. That's, I love that. Six. <laughs> Head in the clouds. Can't see where he's going. <laughs> That's an amazing card. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we have the child. And we have the youth. Oh, I love the whales. I love the whales. Those, these are just so friggin' sweet. So sweet. Okay, sword time. Ace of Swords, two. This is one of my favorite Three of Sword cards. I just love that. I think it's it's elegantly sorrowful. Four. Oh, shark. Seven. Oh, look at that, the Eight of Swords with all the thorns. Nine. Ten. Poor little rat. But at least she didn't make him bloody, so that's, that's, that's doable. Panther, child, youth, mother, and father. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, two, ah, that's great, timer. I love the ants. That's the best working together. Yes. Squirrel. <laughs> wow, look at that. Hmm. 
That's a great five. That's a great five. Okay. So, six of pentacles. Now, <coughs> I saw somebody mention the six of pentacles. And they didn't understand the six of pentacles um, because for beta fish. Because betas don't play well together. Um, and so, I don't know. I'm going to look in the book here real quick at the Six of Pentacles to see what it says. But somebody was kind of put off by the Six of Pentacles because um, beta fish do not play good together. So, um, okay. So, it just says, two fish swim in a circle around six pentacles, representing the fluidity and the flow of things that come and go. So, the only thing I can think of is maybe these aren't supposed to be beta fish. Maybe it's supposed to be a different fish. That's the only thing I can think of. But it's to represent the fluidity of how things come and go. So... That's what I know. Seven of Pentacles. I love the beaver as the eight. That's another great. I love this eight of Pentacles. I just do. I just do. Look at the flamingo as the nine. Oh. Look at that elephant. And then we have the child, we have the youth, buffalo. How could I not love buffalo? Mother, and then lastly, the father of pentacles. There you guys have it. That is the whole deck of the Naked Heart Tarot, second edition. I am so excited to have this. Um, and I can't wait to start using it. Also, I got the uh, cloth. I got the cloth. And also, it comes with a book of tarot spreads. Divination cloth and tarot spreads. So, I'm excited to be using this. And then, here is the tarot cloth. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, look at that. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this, the deck, everything. Go get it, people. It is available through Amazon, and I think it's on Jillian's website. I will link both of those below, make it real easy for you to get, but um, go get this deck. I'm telling you, this deck is so special, so heartwarming. Once you hold these cards, they're like butter. I'm this second edition is just amazeballs, absolutely amazeballs. Go get it. All right, guys, much love, and I'll see you next time.